These are some of the vilest, slimiest, and most lethal critters to crawl all around any dark corners. Ever seen some of these wicked creepy crawlies? Don't let their size fool you though, because these bugs are armed to the teeth and are ready to cut down almost anything bigger than them. Blink and you'll miss it, because these are 20 of the deadliest insects in the world. Number 20, Killer Centipede. You hear that crawling? That sound can only come from the dreadful ice pick-like steps of the giant centipede. Yes, you heard that right, giant. As if a regular centipede wasn't already bad enough, Mother Nature really said out there, hmm, that's not traumatic enough. Although they may only grow to 0.02 meters, these monstrous buggers are one of the top insect predators of the rainforests for two reasons. One is their size and their hide, the latter being hard enough to withstand a reasonable amount of damage, and two is their feared venom. Sure, a bite to a human isn't usually lethal, but it'll definitely sting the stuffing out of you. Anything below a human? Don't blink. What happens next is horrifying. Well, let's just say it would be a gruesome end to whatever sorry animal experiences their scary fangs. Those sharp things on their faces are strong enough to crush the chitin on most creatures that are smaller than it. Thanks to these two attributes, they can take down anything from smaller insect to bigger prey, like sizable lizards. That's a bit of a weak point to these crusty predators, though. You see the armor all around their bodies? They actually breathe through the pores found in their armor, and the main reason why they prefer damp, wetland-like areas is because if they live in the polar opposite regions of the desert, they would get dehydrated and dry out. Listen, I wouldn't worry if you were a human strolling around in the desert, but if you were a cockroach in a random rainforest, well, I'd start running, praying, screaming, or all three once I hear those prickling steps. Number 19, Deathstalker Scorpion. Another fearsome arthropod is the Deathstalker scorpion. If you think the name isn't rattling enough, it's worth noting that these yellow menaces are the deadliest scorpion species on the planet. It's thanks to the venom that a cocktail of neurotoxins that stun the target, and not to mention it's a blistering rush of pain. One of the most painful sensations ever, in fact, at least according to the victims. Apart from the pain and lethality, it'll almost certainly result in a full body paralysis. So if you think you could run after one sting, well, sorry to burst your bubble. Thanks to this immense advantage, you can see the obvious fact that they're carnivorous and lay waste to most of their victims. See, that's why this scorpion is so feared worldwide. I wonder why it's almost the tiniest creatures that can inflict the most pain? Well, one thing's for certain. If the venom doesn't go into some poor schmuck's bloodstream, it goes into a milking machine. And mind you, it costs $39 million per gallon for scorpion venom. They're so rare and have so many insane medical applications. That's why they're so expensive. Research, vitamins, stimulants, and anti-venom, you name it. They can all be manufactured thanks to the scorpion's really potent venom. Don't think that these guys are a get-rich-quick scheme, though, because death stalkers will definitely end mostly anything that crosses their paths. I mean, it's in their name, Death Stalker. Number 18, Kissing Bug. Don't let the name fool you because the kissing bugs' kisses aren't sweet. Quite the opposite, actually. They're bitterly painful. These nocturnal creatures can leave bites that may not be lethal, but they can totally ruin your day. A kissing bite from these can leave swollen flesh, infection, irritations, and sickness. They bite because, well, like most of the freaks on this list, they want your blood. Again, the bite isn't Deathstalker scorpion levels, but there's a chance where you could go into a nearly breathless shock from it. The worst part is that they usually live where humans live, and of course, their name like that because they usually aim for your lips because they're soft and the easiest to penetrate. Yeah, they're attracted to the red shade of blood on your lips. A smooch from these nimrods isn't exactly the best kiss in the world. Number 17, Brown Recluse Spider. And now we're back to our regularly scheduled crawling nightmares. The flea was an annoyance, but this one doesn't mess around. Arachnophobics better hide now, because enter the brown recluse spider. Again, the bite doesn't cause death, but it can cause serious damage. We're talking dead flesh weeks after the bite kind of damage. It's going to be a painful and disgusting sight to see for any victim, but that's only a rare chance, thankfully. Despite their feared reputation, these eight-legged freaks actually try to avoid humans, hence the recluse part of their name. They also get their reputation from the fact that despite their size, they're really common in America. They like to hang around in the weirdest of places, crevices which include forests, buildings, and even your own clothes. That last part is probably the reason why these spiders end up biting a lot of people. That's also the reason why most bites occur on the body, the legs, and of course, the feet. That's probably your cue to wash your clothes properly to shake them off because who knows what nightmares hide in your favorite Nirvana t-shirt. 
Number 16, IO Moth Caterpillars. Wasn't this the broccoli you had last night? No, it's something much more sinister. This is an IO Moth Caterpillar. And don't let the somewhat adorable looks fool you. Actually, don't even try to touch it. See those hairs? Those are barbs loaded with toxins. And again, they're not necessarily deadly to humans, but it will still cause a lot of sickness and pain. Of course, eating it is also a very stupid move. This goes for any animal out there planning to eat this thing because it will surely ruin their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They've adapted these defenses in order to protect their weak and soft bodies. Once they've stung a lot of things to survive, they go into the natural metamorphosis of being a cocoon, then they turn into beautiful IO moths. However, these moths have traded their poison barbs for wings that could resemble an owl's face. Huh, I mean, that's really tamer, but let's face it, seeing an owl swoop around is probably the worst nightmare almost any bug could have. Number 15, bot flies. This one is a notorious degenerate on this list. Ever seen the classic alien movie? You know, where the dude gets a baby alien to burst out of his chest? Well, this guy is a living example of that movie because the larva of the botfly burrows through the flesh. Yes, unlike the former two on this list, this one can actually humans if given the right chance. The botfly starts this horrific reproduction by kidnapping a mosquito and laying its eggs on it. Already it starts out very horrific, but that's not all. It lets it go free, then the mosquito will suck blood, as usual. When the heat of the blood is detected by the botfly's eggs, that's where the horror begins, as they spring out and quickly burrow into the hole either the mosquito made or it'll force itself into small pores. Like hair follicle. You can already have dengue from a mosquito, but now you'll have a parasite eating away at you very slowly. It's a two for one deal. This gross worm feeds on the very flesh of the sorry host and it produces antibiotics and anesthesia so you won't feel or notice it. Trust me, the word gross doesn't begin to describe the scene of them coming out of the human flesh. Once they're out, it's time for them to pupa up and the cycle is complete. If they don't come out, I'd start calling a doctor if I were you, because congratulations, you might be a potential step-parent of these nasty flesh eaters. Guess you're not sleeping after this video, huh? Number 14, Mosquito. No bug terror list would be complete without these living plagues. Mosquitoes and humans have been duking it out for the longest time. We'll get to that later, because let's cover how they live. Mosquitoes begin the cycle of life by laying their eggs in a body of water, preferably dirty. Why dirty water, you ask? Well, that's because when the mosquito larvas hatch, most of them eat dirt. And from this early stage in life, this is where mosquitoes get their infernal interactions with human beings. Mostly thanks to their habitats to where humans live, they propagate through the dirty sewer water and waste humans leave around. And once they've matured and grown wings, please welcome their blood-sucking habits. Ironically, only a handful of species bite other creatures for food, and only the females in that handful need the blood. Yes, females need it because it's essential to making eggs. And the climax of this bite is, yes, they do the usual of slurping your nutrients out, but that comes with a big infamous catch, diseases. Mosquitoes carry a plethora of diseases, including malaria, yellow fever, and the most infamous of them all, dengue. Actually, dengue alone has been attributed as one of the world's worst widespread diseases. Roughly 390 million people each year have been infected with dengue, and that's how much of a threat mosquitoes are to people. Of course, thanks to the other arsenal of diseases, mosquitoes have been directly responsible for ridding the world of thousands of people each year. Despite their size and crucible structure, mosquitoes' total death toll undoubtedly puts them on one of the top spots of the world's deadliest animals. Number 13, tsetse fly. Another contender from the fly family is the tsetse fly. Ironically, in the local language, the word tsetse actually means fly, so its name is literally fly fly. Weird names aside, it's slightly larger than your common house fly. This is what you get when you cross a tick and a fly. That's right, you've guessed it, another blood-sucking parasite. Another big similarity between these bloodsuckers is that tsetse's carry parasites. They get their crummy reputation thanks to the parasites they carry, trypanosomes. That's a bit of a mouthful, but these microscopic invaders enter the human blood bloodstream, swim and mask through the immune system, and they slowly suck out the nutrients from the victim up to the point of death, of course. This is what the locals call the African sleeping sickness. It's a deadly disease that has claimed the lives of at least 50,000 to 500,000 people each year. The disease might be mostly home to Africa, but I tell you, it's nothing short of deadly if left untreated. Getting back to the actual flies. You can rest easy though, because these flies reproduce slowly with the female giving birth to one larva at a time, 
Not to mention, thanks to the exclusivity of being in Africa, most of you won't have to worry about these buzzing jerks ruining your day with a sleeping sickness. To those watching and they currently live in Africa, I salute you, I wish you luck. Number 12, Africanized bee. Speaking of bees, these bees are probably the most typical that you would have expected, but still, nonetheless, fearsome. Africanized bees are slightly smaller than their honeybee cousins, but far more aggressive and deadlier. A group of these psycho buzzers can sting you over a thousand times, chase you for half a mile, and even if you swat off a few of them, ho ho, it'll be much worse for you. Picture this, you're running from them and you kill a few of them, those dead bodies will lay out scents for more bees to come. The only real safe places are indoors, and I know you're wandering about, diving in water. Do not do that, because despite their looks, these bees are craftier than others, meaning they will wait for their victims to surface and then sting them again. That being said, their venom is painful, unless you really got stung an insane amount of times. Next time you're walking down the streets and spot a bee, better not bother it, because that bee might have thousands of friends waiting to jump you. And heavens knows how many countless people have fallen victim to this. Number 11, Giant Asian Buffalo Leech. Ah, yes, the primordial parasite of the animal kingdom. More so, this isn't your run-of-the-mill leech, but this is a giant Asian buffalo leech. These big bloodsuckers are terrifying to witness because they grow up to 14 centimeters or five and a half inches. Imagine that latching onto you and sucking your blood out. These enormous blood bags usually live around wet and swampy areas to keep their hides moist and so they won't dehydrate and dry up. So I would worry about them if you're trying to cross a forested lake in Asia. But it's not that these slimy grimaces don't have plus sight. On that topic, they only eat once to a few times a month. Not to mention, thanks to the special properties of their bite, their blood sucking activities are painless and have massively benefited medical advancements for humans. It's even a fact that they're used to help treat victims with severed body parts. Just like the Deathstalker scorpion earlier on this list, leeches have a long history of helping the human race advance in the field of medical research. But also just like the Deathstalker scorpion, I wouldn't get too comfy with them. They're still out to suck you dry. Number 10, Asian Giant Hornet. Oh boy, the bane of bees is here. Quick clarification here. Hornets are just bigger wasps and the Asian giant hornets don't exactly fool around. They can grow up to two inches. But these bad boys are extremely vigorous and aggressive. In fact, they're so strong, it only takes like 30 of them to decimate 30,000 bees in a matter of hours. But wait, there's more. They already have the size and strength. But the Asian giant hornet is one of three insects that has one of the most painful stings ever in the animal kingdom. That's thanks to their venomous sting, which is so potent it can melt human flesh on contact. That's not all, but this thing is also lethal to humans. If you're somewhere in Asia and taking a stroll to where the bees are, uh, be very careful. Chances are there's an Asian giant hornet nearby prepared to lay waste to anything that stands in its way, whether it be a bee or a human. Number nine, Black Widow Spider. Finally, we're getting into the legendary freaks. This creepy crawly is so infamous, it got a solo Marvel movie from its reputation, or so at least that's where the name comes from. Yes, I'm talking about the Black Widow spider. The red hourglass on the female's belly is a well-known warning to any creature spotting it, considering a bite from the female can cause death to humans. The female is a hard-working hunter, webbing up to a certain angle so that it can cover many spots. This process takes from hours to even days. Once the trap is done and then some some unlucky idiot sticks to her trap, it's dinner time. She takes the first bite so that she can seal the fate of her prey. By that, I mean she bites with her notorious venom, which paralyzes the prey and honestly sends them with one foot in the grave. Then she wraps it around like a little white burrito. After that, it's bottoms up. <laughs> no, literally, she spits digestive juices onto her prey, then slurps all those juicy melted body parts. <laughs> what a gruesome end. The female is a bona fide legend amongst venomous creatures around the world, while the males aren't so great. They're 30 times lighter than the female and they're a quarter smaller. They're also less venomous, but the real downer occurs during mating season. Around this time, females release a pheromone so that she can attract the males to mate. This is one of the worst times for a female because males can get insanely greedy. They come up to the female's web and they trash it. It's to block the other male's access to their selected females, but it doesn't end there. They also slowly approach the female and you see that tapping? That's not tapping. They're actually marking the female with their own scent and pheromone. 
pheromones. This is essentially getting married and forcing your wife to wear a I'm married t-shirt every day. Man, the males are jerks, but nature comes full circle because at least once in a blue moon, they can get eaten by their own wives. I won't judge their mating habits. After that, the cycle of life is done because the female lays her eggs. Man, eating your date is more common in the bug world than you think, huh? Number eight, assassin bug. Closely related to the kissing bug, of course, this is another heinous bloodsucker. The assassin bugs really live up to their name as they are ambush hunters, meaning they lie in wait for some poor schmuck to come by and boom, they strike. They do this by piercing their proboscis in the innards of their victim. Then they drain the life away. The newborns, called nymphs, are more cautious because they need vertebrates' blood. Even the freaking vampire bats aren't safe from these little terrors. And that's saying something because these are also larger bloodsuckers. No honor among thieves, as they say. Once they grow up, they can totally go for something more challenging now, like other insects their size. And, of course, no horrible strike is complete without a venomous sting. Yes, they have venom, and they can kill their prey almost instantly with one strike. Did I mention these little buggers can vary if they have a painful bite or not? Some have anesthetics in their stings, while others can really make you scream in pain. Being stung by assassin bugs is like playing Russian roulette, because you'll never really know if they're venomous or not until it's too late. Number 7. Ticks Oh boy, you might want to check your dog's body for this next one. While you're at it, smash that like and subscribe button. Who knows, you might be smashing a tick underneath that mouse click while you're clicking on that. Yes, the next bugger on the list is a tick. These little buggers don't seem to like danger, but thanks to their blood sucking habits, they can carry many diseases, including Lyme disease. Not to mention they're a plague to a lot of animals, mostly mammalian ones. Despite their infamous status, they only feed three times in their entire life. Of course, three times is already a lot to cause terror into the natural fauna thanks to their aforementioned habit of leaving viral surprises for its unknowing victims, they can get up to 200 times their own size once they're done. The real kicker here is how they spread because a full female can lay to an apocalyptic number of 2,000 eggs. Imagine the tiny horrors these disgusting bugs bring whenever they bite and latch onto something. The horror doesn't end there because once these 2,000 freaks hatch, they use their chainsaw like mouth parts to feed into any unlucky victim. Yes, you heard that right. They bite and latch onto you with a biologically made chainsaw. Weird thing is that these horrendous looking mouth parts have anesthesia despite the brutal looks of it. Thank mother nature for making these things small because who knows what would happen to us if they were as big as bears. Number six, Indian red scorpion. I somewhat lied about the last one because there's another scorpion that rivals the Deathstalker's lethality in terms of venom. Of course, I'm talking about the Indian red scorpion. Unlike their yellow rivals, these guys are smaller, but that's a huge risk considering it lives in human settlements. Imagine you and your mates are out about playing just one wrong stick of a foot into a dark crevice, then boom, the most unimaginably painful sensation of your life. What's worse is that some of the scorpion's settlements have been known to be in remote parts of India where hospitals are far away, let alone specific anti-venoms for treatment to the victims. Of course, the Indian red uses its deadly venom to sedate prey. Then, like spiders mentioned before, they spit digestive fluids at their meals and suck it all down, just like their spider cousins. Kind of ironic it's used more of a sedative, considering the massive deadly potential their venom contains. While they may have one of the deadliest venoms in the world, they also have the rudest table manners. Just look at all these roach leftovers. Ugh. Number five, pus caterpillar. You see that mustache crawling around? No, that's not Donald Trump's missing toupee. <laughs> but that's a pus caterpillar. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking of giving this cute little guy a pet. But no, absolutely do not pet it. Lots of people and animals fall for this because they didn't know that the pus caterpillar has not one but two venomous layers of bristles. The first one is the cuddly hairs you see on the outside. Touching these alone can give you a really irritating sensation. The next layer of defenses are the bristles located below the fuzz. That's the worst one because it gives a burning sensation and can last up to 12 hours or even more. Yes, that's 12 hours of absolute torment. Sure, it's not outright deadly, but I doubt anyone would want nearly a day's worth of constant torture. Number four, Brazilian wandering spiders. Tarantulas are cool, but have you met one of the most venomous spiders on the planet? Yes, even more venomous than the legendary Black Widow. The Brazilian wandering spiders don't pull their punches when it comes to biting. These nasty little creatures can deliver a bite loaded with neurotoxin that can quickly shut down breathing 
and heart activities. And as an added bonus, the bite is insanely painful. They use this fearsome weapon to hunt down mostly up the size of a mouse, but they won't hesitate biting humans. If you're ever in South America, keep an eye out for these eight-legged murderers because they're almost everywhere. Number three, fire ant. Normal common red ants already hurt a lot when they bite. How much more if they're dialed up to an 11? Well, that's where the fire ants come in. They're crazily aggressive and they're venomous too. Of course, the bite isn't that of a bullet, but man, imagine getting bitten and stung. Yes, they do both. They do it in numbers and it would hurt like crazy. They're non-lethal to humans, but enough to garner serious medical attention. Despite these brutal weapons, fire ants are insanely organized too. You think the water could stop these swarming pests? Think again, because the fire ants have a quick and organized way to make a raft out of their own colony within minutes. They can stay afloat for weeks on end, and that's how they've all spread across America. Once it's dry and settled, they build a new nest where the queen lays 200 eggs per hour. Given a small amount of time, they can amass millions. They're not the most venomous on this list, but their strength in numbers more than makes up for their fearsome reputation. Number two, fleas. Man, the pets are just really having a bad day with this list. First, there were ticks, and now we have these. If ticks were hard to get rid of, then might I introduce you to the flea? Just like ticks, these guys are also blood-sucking parasites, but these are more on the mobile side because fleas have developed specialized legs for jumping really high up into the air. Their legs are biologically engineered to be like specialized springs. Once they take their position and spring down, their legs lock and flick. Away they go, and man, how far they can land. Not to mention, their jumping speed is unbelievably fast. The speed is 100 times faster than the blink of an eye, so you know this tiny annoyance is going places. Once it lands on a target, it's time to feast. Of course, that's our cue to get rid of it, right? Well, no. The fleas have developed a rubbery armor called sclerites, which toughen up the flea. Not only that, thanks to their small size and somewhat flat shape, they can be literally too small to squish. Once they've fed and escaped your clutches, it's time to make some babies. Let's just say that 25 of these can turn into a million in just a month. That explains heaps of these little hoodlums ganging up on your poor pets. Now you'll know the pain the next time you see your dog or cat scratching themselves. Number one, blister beetles. And last, but not the least, let's head over to the Mojave Desert and meet the blister beetle. <laughs> From their conception alone, they're already imbeciles. You see, when the young hatch, they cluster up on a grassy stalk and release a pheromone to attract a male bee that's in heat. Once they get near their target, they sting him and latch onto him. A male bee then goes to mate with a female, but he also passes her his unwanted guests. They cling onto the female until she reaches her nest full of delicious pollen what a grand feast for the beetles, but they don't stop at eating the honey, no. They even eat the young of the bees. They can grow up to 2.5 centimeters or barely an inch, and this is where their name kicks in. When they're an adult, they can excrete a toxic fluid that can cause massive irritation, and you've guessed it, blisters. This may not be deadly, but it's still greatly dangerous if you get these in your mouth or eyes as the toxin can pull in infections. Hey, this little bug might not kill you, but it can certainly topple you down with that toxin. What did I tell you? Are these bugs horrifying or what? Which bug made you lose your lunch? Let us know in the comments below. If you're hungry for more of our videos, make sure to check out the videos in the cards now. Thanks for watching and watch out for those creepy crawlies out there.